Welcome everyone to Market City Commission Agenda Tuesday, October 15th, 2013, meeting called to order at 7 p.m. Would you please join us and pledge allegiance to the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Thank you, everyone. City Clerk, uh, roll call, please. Yes, Your Honor. Commissioner Kimbenzi. Here. Commissioner Coyne. Here. Commissioner Ryan. Here. Commissioner Snyder. Here. Commissioner Stonehouse. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Nimi. Here. And Mayor DePietro. Thank you, City Clerk. Let the record show all seven commissioners are present. With that, I got some announcements at this time. You know, just a minute here. Uh, commissioners, any uh, note of agenda changes? Commissioner Ryan. Yes, I would like to have item 3H on the truck ordinance move from the consent agenda to the regular agenda under new business. 3H. And that would be under new business number nine. Thank you. Thank you. Any other commissioner at this time? Seeing none, uh, is there a motion to approve the agenda as presented? Uh, commissioner Stonehouse. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Commissioner uh, Schneider. Support. Thank you. Motion by Commissioner Stonehouse, seconded by Commissioner Schneider to approve the uh, uh, consent agenda as amended. All in favor say yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Opposed? Motion passes 7 to 0. Thank you. At this time, I got some announcements, volunteer uh, committees and boards. Um, Aging Services Advisory Committee, Housing Representative, that's one opening. Arts and Culture Advisory Committee, three openings. Harbor Advisory Committee, one opening. Local Officers Compensation Commission, two openings. Market Brownfield Redevelopment Authority, one opening. Park and Recreation Advisory Board, two openings. Peter White Public Library Board, one opening. Planning Commission, one opening. Police Fire Pension Board, one opening. Regional Recreation Authority Business Plan, Ad Hoc Committee, one alternate opening. Sister City Advisory Committee, five openings. And Traffic and Parking Advisory Committee, three openings. With that, we'll move right to number one, presentation, Upper Peninsula Children's Museum Explainer of the Quarter, Abby Tollison. Abby, you want to meet me over there? <clears throat> this certificate, this certificate presented to Abby Tollison for Outstanding UP Children's Museum Explainer of the Quarter, September 30th, 2013. We're very proud, my fellow commissioners and I, the city manager, city employees, that see that you're getting this award. This is pretty awesome. Come on over here for a little bit. There you go. I know that... Um, uh, Jim Edwards is going to have something to say about this, but did you want to say some things, you know, like uh, how everything went this summer and all that? Come on, step up here. There's hundreds of thousands of people watching you. <laughs> Come on up here and say something. <laughs> and hold this up. Yeah. I've had a really good time at the museum this summer, and I learned a lot. <laughs> all right. And don't go, don't stray off to the side. 
Jim wants to uh, say some stuff too. You have the floor, Jim. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, Commissioner, City Manager. Um, Abby came in at the beginning of, or the end of the school year and said, you know, my parents need to kick me out of the house. No, uh, they, they need to come and work. And she kept to it and she did her three days a week and she set herself a plan and she managed it. And I think she's an assistant uh, museum manager in the making. So uh, we're going off to Big Boy soon to have ice cream and we'll leave you to the warm weather. I'd like to steal a moment though, Mr. Mayor, if I may, to thank the city. Uh, uh, city manager, the plow was wonderful, the fire department, the trucks were great. Um, the uh, board light and power showed up and were the hit of the day. We had a wonderful afternoon on Saturday with the Harvest Festival on Barrack Avenue, thanks to city vehicles um, letting kids clamber all over them, sponsored by the museum. So thank you. And thanks thank you. Abby. Don't go yet. When, when they found out you were getting this award today, how many are from uh, Northern Michigan University? Look at that. They all showed up just to be here for this presentation. <laughs> Can we uh, give her a round of applause, please? <laughs> Thank you again. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Boards and committees, uh, we're going to welcome. Uh, three new members, uh, Heidi Gold, uh, Sustainable Community Ad Hoc Committee, Natasha Koss, uh, Sustainable Community Ad Hoc Committee, and Igor Krohawk, Market Housing Commission. Could you meet me up here at the uh, lectern and I'll present you at City Pins. On behalf of the city, my fellow commissioners, the city manager, city staff, and the residents, we all want to thank you three for stepping back up to the plate. And Igor Kruhawk is on the Market Housing Commission, and I want to present this pen to you. And thank you very much. You. Uh, is there something you'd like to say to the public? No, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. thank you. And Heidi, Sustainable Community Ad Hoc Committee, thank you very much for volunteering to do this. And here's your city pen, and I know you want to say something, so come on over. and You have the floor. Okay, thank you, Mayor DiPietro. Um, uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you for allowing me this opportunity to serve the city in a way that uh, will help promote sustainability as a community and I look forward to working with the other members of the committee. Thank you very much and Natasha Koss, uh, uh, Sustainable Community Ad Hoc Committee, thank you also. I know you're very involved with different uh, organizations and committees and all that so I'd like to present this pin to you. And thank you for volunteering, and I know you would like to say something sure. also. <laughs> I'm serving uh, on behalf of the Superior Watershed Partnership, and we're a nonprofit here in town, uh, regional Great Lakes Protection nonprofit, so it's good to be on the committee. Thank you. Yes, and again, we thank all three of you for volunteering your time and coming on board, so Thanks. thank you again. Uh, with that, we'll move to appointments. City Clerk. Yes, Your Honor, there's uh, one uh, appointment this evening. Brett Baranek uh, to the Planning Commission for a term ending February 15, 2015. Thank you, Commissioners. Uh, Commissioner Ryan. I'd like to move we appoint Brett Baranek to the Planning Commission for a term ending February 15, 2015. Thank you. Is there a second? Commissioner uh, Schneider. Thank you. Commissioner Ryan, anything further? I understand he's an enthusiastic young man, and we're glad to have him willing to serve on the uh, Planning Commission. Thank you. Commissioner Schneider? I hope he knows what he's in for, and I appreciate his willingness to put his time in. Thank you. Any other commissioner at this time? Seeing none, all in favor, say yes. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 to 0. Thank you. With that, we'll move directly to public comment. Comments may not exceed 
Three minutes per person. <coughs> Citizens may reserve time to speak on agenda items. This may result in an item being moved up on the agenda at the mayor's discretion. Anybody wishing to uh, come up for public comment, uh, please state your name and physical address, please. Uh, Don Potvin, 1027 North Front Street Market, Michigan. Although I had wished for something else, I am totally in agreement that the proposed market truck route ordinance number 608 is very necessary to the peace, safety, and preservation of the streets of our city, Marquette. I urge you commissioners to vote to advance the truck ordinance to a final adoption. I also urge you to disallow Commissioner Snyder from discussing or voting on this issue as he is an employee of the Rio Tinto slash Lundin companies. Added, would you please arrange for some lower profile bins at the household uh, reclamation area in North Marquette. They're too high, I see too many people, can't throw it up on, over them and they're on the ground and the tractor can only hold so much until they have to dump it for them that way. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Anyone else wishing to address commission at this time? Please state your name and physical address, please. Uh, my name's Jim Carey, I'm from Channing, Michigan. I'm a logging contractor. Uh, we supply wood chips to Northern Michigan University and log all around central UP. And the truck restrictions will pretty much limit us to uh, hauling wood on some Marquette City streets at the same time as our school buses are traveling. Uh, our company could potentially have 11 trucks waiting in line for 7 o'clock opening time for some of these restricted roads. And the way the schedule is now, I do not think that we could supply wood chips on a steady basis to Northern Michigan University's boiler plant. And it put an adverse, adverse effect on us, our company, and Northern Michigan University. And I'm more concerned about the safety of the kids getting on a school bus rush hour traffic when you have dozens of trucks lined up to get through Marquette at 7 o'clock in the morning. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anyone else wishing to address commission at this time? At Deacons, 2225 Fitch Avenue, requesting to uh, reserve time for uh, item number seven under new business. What was your name, sir? Matt Deacons. Matt Deacons? Deacons. D-E-A-K-I-N-S. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, my name is Kasha Nevenhoven, 128 East Main Street, and I'm requesting on behalf of Superior, Superior Hockey that agenda item number six, the signing of Superior Hockey's lease, be tabled until the next commission meeting. We fully intend to follow through with our lease with the city for the space in Lakeview. Unfortunately, at this time, our finances are being held up by the governmental shutdown. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Anyone else wishing to address the commission at this time? I'm Evelyn December from 445 McMillan Street. Good evening, Mayor and Commissioners and city employees. I'm here to discuss the sewer problem I've had at my home built in 2004. The home was first built on the newly developed property by Primo Construction. In 2006, I had my first sewer backup at which time I called Swick Plumbing and Heating, the contractor who installed the plumbing in my home. The city engineer in Primo Construction was involved with the problem at that time. It's my understanding Primo dug up the street to, the, to level the lateral. The city engineer and the head of public works, Steve Laurie, at that time um, approved all the work. And I also believe that this is when the city resumed responsibility for that subdivision. I was told I would never have another problem, and I didn't until June 16th of this year. I don't have time right now to get into all the particulars involving this case because of my three-minute limitation, so I need to just get to the basics. In June, I again called Swick Plumbing and Heating, and it took several hours to clean out the blocked lateral. The city was called the next morning, at which time they came out. Swick also came out and threw a camera and um, found that there was a, bl a blockage. There's a something in there that was stopping the sewer from going through. 
So at this time, the city never informed me of what they planned on doing, if anything. The following week, prior to them digging, I was outside working when Mr. Lena and another gentleman pulled up to my yard. After discussing the problem, I asked him how I could be responsible for a lateral that was not on my property. It is across the street. I didn't receive an answer, nor have I received an answer to this day. They dug up the area the following Monday, and I have pictures, as does the city, showing the approximately six-inch gap in the lateral. Was it done in 2006 when the lateral was leveled? I don't know. I filed a property loss with the city insurance agency, Michigan Municipal League. I was denied based on the problem was found in the lateral. I contacted the Michigan League again on August 20th, requesting that they take another look at this. Uh, they said that the um, cause of the sewer backup remains unknown, but this is not true. They also contend I had already cleaned up the loss prior to the city being contact. This is true to an extent. The sewer ran into my fire alarm systems. I had alarms going off, sewer running everywhere. I did what most people would do and call a plumbing company. The lateral was cleaned out all the way to the main across the street. Fifteen seconds, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> you wonder why I've taken on this responsibility and, and, and not my husband. It's a brand new home, and he was handicapped at the time and has since died. Um, I, I wonder how this can happen not once but twice in a brand new subdivision. Right is right, and I think I've been wronged in this case, and I ask you, Mr. Mayor and Commissioners, to please look into this for me, and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. I do have information that I'd like to pass on to each one of you. You'll have to give that to the city clerk. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Can Thank we have you. her name again, Mr. Your Honor? Evelyn December. Evelyn December. Okay. Thank you. Is there anyone else wishing to address the commission at this time? Please state your name and physical address, please. <coughs> Mr. Mayor, Commission, my name is Amber Lapota. My address is 319 Myland Hall, Marquette. I am the student body president of Northern Michigan University's 9,300 plus students. And I am joined here tonight with my executive council and a number of representatives, as well as a number of constituents, in an effort to gain some un insight and some information that we can pass along to our student constituents regarding the proposed ordinance for the truck route. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to address the commission at this time? <coughs> My name is Mike Florida. I live at uh, 1302 North McClellan. And <coughs> I've read the truck ordinance, the new truck ordinance as uh, printed in the uh, mining journal today. I like it from what I see so far. I like the idea of uh, trucks being uh, uh, allowed to run from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, my personal stance is that no trucks run in the city of Marquette, but I also understand about business and I understand about commerce. I'm also sensitive to uh, what Mr. Carey had to say. So let me say this on top of, uh, besides that, um, I would like to see if the truck ordinance is adapted and trucks are running on McClellan, I would like to see a truck uh, speed limit of 25 miles an hour or no more than 25 miles an hour. One of the things that has not been said that I think uh, needs to be said or needs to be reminded to people, even though McClellan is uh, very much a busy thoroughfare and probably the most, if not the most busiest street in the county, it's still a residential area. There are still families that live there, there are children that play there, grandchildren all around, and so it needs to be kept safe. I like, again, like I said, the idea that uh, trucks only run from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., but I'm not locked into that. Um, I said, I'm sensitive to what Mr. Carey had to say, but a 25 mile an hour speed limit would be very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anyone else wishing to address the commission at this time? Good evening. Uh, you're Malankin and 8 Market Drive. Uh, um, I may want to reserve time for 3H uh, uh, at later point, but I also like to discuss it just a little bit. Uh, throwing a baby out with a bathwater is not always the best thing in our community. Uh, 
I'm also talking about the Home Builder Association and doing business in our community. A lot of the people that work in the community uh, may exceed that particular limit and then are subject to a potential fine if you decide not to take a, a shorter route uh, uh, curtailing uh, business in our community. Uh, there are very few uh, uh, encouragements in the city for business and now we're looking at or the city is looking at even restricting it some more uh, and perhaps uh, uh, curtailing the uh, uh, fly ash uh, from power plants as well because those are in some of those routes. Uh, uh, all of this is obviously for uh, many interpretations, but it deserves a lot more discussion and public input before it's put into uh, uh, into effect. Because uh, uh, trying to curtail one is industry is starting to discriminate uh, for the entire lot, and trying to discourage one entity uh, and penalizing the entire business community is not really fair. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anyone else wishing to address the commission at this time? Anyone else wishing to address commission at this time? Seeing none, I'll close this portion of public comment. Move to number three, consent agenda. <coughs> Commissioners, Commissioner Coyne. Yes, I move that we approve the consent agenda as presented with the exception of the reimbursement to Commissioner Schneider for check number 57605 for $621.79 travel reimbursement to attend the Michigan Municipal League Conference and to Commissioner Nimi, check number 57636 for $644.15 for similar travel reimbursement to the MML Conference. Thank you. There's a motion by <coughs> Commissioner uh, Coyne. Is there a second? Commissioner Ryan. I'll second the motion. Thank you. Commissioner Coyne, anything further? No. Commissioner Ryan? No. Any other commissioner? Seeing none, all in favor, say yes. 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 Close. Motion passes 7 to 0. Commissioners, is there a motion to reimburse Commissioner Schneider and Amy for travel expenses <coughs> for the MML conference? Commissioner Coyne? I move we reimburse them for the stated amounts for the Michigan Municipal League conference. Thank you. Is there a second? Commissioner Ryan? Second the motion. Anything further? Commissioner Coyne? No. Commissioner Ryan? Nothing further. Any other commissioner? Seeing none, all in favor say yes. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5 to 0. Motion, uh, let the record show Commissioner Schneider and Amy abstaining from voting for approval of their respective checks during the consent agenda of the meeting. Is that uh, understood, City Clerk? Thank you. We'll move to number four, unfinished business, Superior Watership Partnership, renewal of lease agreement. City Clerk. Thank you, Your Honor. Background. <clears throat> At its September 13, 2010 meeting, the City Commission approved and directed the City Attorney to prepare a lease agreement with the Superior Watershed Partnership for the use of the caretaker's dwelling at Presque Isle. The term of the lease was three years and with a renewal for an additional three years upon the mutual written agreement of the lessor and the lessee. Recently, staff from the partnership contacted the city requesting to renew the three-year lease. Uh, the, the proposed renewal of, lease of the lease agreement was introduced at the Commission's September 30th, 2013 meeting. Fiscal effect, rental proceeds of $13,200 in goods, services, or funds. Recommendation, approve the renewal of the lease agreement with the Superior Watershed Partnership for the use of the city-owned facility at Presque Isle Park for a period of three years with an effective date of September 27th, 2013. Alternatives as determined by the Commission. Thank you, City Clerk. Commissioners, what's your pleasure? Commission Commissioner Nemi. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that we approve the renewal of the lease agreement with Superior Watershed Partnership for the use of the city-owned facility at Presque Isle Park for a <laughs> renewal period of three years with an effective date of September 27, 2013. Thank you. Is there a second? Commissioner Schneider. Support. Thank you. Commissioner Nemi, anything further? I think this is a good use of the the old caretaker's house on Presque Isle. They've they've kept it up well, and and it's a, a 
organization that uh, certainly benefits our city and the greater Marquette community. Thank you. Commissioner Schneider? Um, I will definitely piggyback on Commissioner uh, Commissioner Nimi's comments on that. I think they've done a great job in the community, and I think it's it's worthwhile. Um, we're looking at a number of, of fees and rents that we have charged. I, I do feel that it's a little bit low, but I think it's worthwhile with, for the organization that it is. Um, in the future, when it comes up, just for staff and commission, it would be nice to see really what we're getting for the, the exchange of 13,000 in goods and services. Um, I'm sure that it's there, but when making a decision to, to forgo the actual payments, it would be nice to, to see that. Um, but that's for the future right now. I definitely think that it's a great organization and uh, approve of the contract. Thank you. Any other commissioner at this time? Seeing none, there's a motion by Commissioner Nemi, seconded by Commissioner Schneider, to accept a recommendation of agenda number four and approve the renewal of lease agreement with the Superior Watershed Partnership for use of the city-owned facility at Presque Isle Park for a renewal period of three years with effective date of September 27, 2013. All in favor, say yes. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 to 0. Thank you. We'll move to number 5, Lakefield Arena Superior. That was uh, Commissioner Nemi. Thank you, Your Honor. I guess in the wishes of Nevenhovens, perhaps we ought to just refer this to the next meeting. Say the city clerk, ma'am, you read right. the item. I would so move. Okay. There's a motion by Commissioner Nemi, supported by Commissioner Coyne, to move the lake uh, number five, agenda number five, <coughs> to the next <coughs> meeting is October 28th. Eighth. Eighth. All in favor? Uh, yes. Just a second. Uh, Commissioner Schneider? I just have to make note that um, since I work with them professionally, that I'll be abstaining from this vote. Okay, thank you. With that, I'll ask a question. All in favor, say yes. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 6, six to uh, 0 with uh, Commissioner Schneider abstaining. City Clerk, do you have that? Thank you. With that, we'll move to number 6. <coughs> Market Junior Hockey Corporation locker room lease agreement, City Clerk. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Background. <clears throat> Market Junior Hockey has requested the City Commission's consideration in leasing locker room space at Lakeview Arena. The City Attorney has drafted a standard lease agreement which provides for the terms and conditions of the request. The monthly rent payment shall be $294. The term of the lease is six months to commence on October 1, 2013. Fiscal effect, the Lakeview Arena Fund will receive $1,764 in revenue for FY 13-14. <coughs> Recommendation, approve the lease agreement with Market Junior Hockey Corporation for locker room space at Lakeview Arena for a period October 1, 2013 through March 31, 2014 at a rate of $294 per month and also authorize the mayor and clerk to sign the agreement. Alternatives as determined by the commission. Thank you, City Clerk. Commissioners, what's your pleasure? Commissioner Schneider. Move that we approve the recommendation as read. Thank you. Is there a second? Uh, Commissioner Cambanzi. Commissioner Schneider, anything further? No, I think this is pretty traditional business, and I'm just happy that the Marquette Junior Hockey Corporation is uh, doing what they need to do to keep it going in our community. Thank you. Commissioner Cambanzi. Nothing further. Thank you. Any other commissioner at this time? <coughs> Seeing none. There's a motion by Commissioner Schneider, seconded by Commissioner Cambensi, to accept the recommendation of number, uh, agenda number six and approve the lease agreement with Market Junior Hockey Corporation for locker room space at Lakeview Arena for a period October 1, 2013 through March 31, 2014 at the rate of $294 per month and authorize the mayor and city clerk to sign agreement. All in favor say yes. 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 Opposed? Motion passes seven to zero. Thank you. With that we'll move we'll move to agenda number seven. Request for a license to permit construction of deck. 
and stairs in the city right away, city clerk. Thank you, Your Honor. Background. Matthew Deakins has submitted an application for a license to reconstruct portions of an outdoor deck and stairs and construct an addition to the deck in a public in, in the public right-of-way in front of his house at 2225 Fitch Avenue. The deck was being built without a zoning compliance permit and was being constructed in both required side yards and partially in the right-of-way. Mr. Deakins applied for and has received a variance from the zoning ordinance and concurrently applied for a license to use city property. Mr. Deacon's application to the BZA for a variance was based upon the practical difficulty of the construction due to the close proximity of the front of his house to the right-of-way. The variance for encroachment into the required front yard and side yards was granted on a 4-3 to three vote of the BZA on October 3, 2013. It was moved by Mr. Fuller, seconded by Mr. Patrick, and carried 4-3 to three that after <clears throat> uh, conducting a public hearing and review of the staff file review analysis for 17-VAR-10-13, the BZA finds that the request demonstrates the standards found in section 80.64.4.B.1, sections A through E of the zoning ordinance and hereby approves 17-VAR-10-13 as presented. A's were Mr. V Mr. Vassa, Roberts, Patrick, and Fuller. Nays were Mr. Crotty, Suxi, and O'Neill. In accordance with the established procedure, city staff reviewed the request and provided recommendations and comments on the application. This deck and stairs would not interfere with any current planned road projects or city utilities and presents no foresee, uh, foreseeable negative consequences. Fiscal effect, the city may realize an annual license payment of $100 per the FY1314 adopted fee schedule. Recommendation, approve the request and direct the city attorney to draft the license alternatives as determined by the commission. Thank you, city clerk. Commissioners, what's your pleasure? We had a request for oh. to speak. Okay. Um, Property owner. Uh, Mr. Deakins, you can have the floor now if you wish. Thank you, commissioners. Um, basically, I'm here to, you know, uh, be available. Could for you uh, use that, please? Yeah, they, uh, I'm here available for any questions if you have any questions uh, about that. Of course, as you know, the variance was granted. Um, but uh, do you have, does anybody have any questions for me at this point in time? Commissioners? Don't see any okay. at this time. Um, as, uh, as far as the $100 fee per year, um, is I understood that sometimes that's not necessarily um, enforced. I mean, is there any way to possibly go with a reduced fee or... Um, even waive it um, the what I'm uh, building right now or going to be building uh, completing is actually replacing stairs that were already existing on the front of the house so um, which even before I started this I didn't realize that the stairs that were on the front of the house were actually already in the city right away as well so what I'm what's replacing those stairs is you know in an area where there was already stairs into the right of way as well before that and the stairs that needed, the stairs that are being replaced um, were uh, sinking over time and they were being detached from the deck, so they did need to be replaced um, anyways. And I just changed the design of it a little bit. So. Okay, um, city manager, could you uh, and Mr. Uh, Deacons, Deacons yeah. uh, get together in the future to discuss this or... Uh, would that be the proper way that you would like to have him meet you in, in your office sometime this week and and give him the direction of where he should go? No. no? Actually, okay. actually so, Your Honor, thank you. Uh, no, at this point, the action is fully ready for the commission. I think at this point, it's my understanding from Mr. Deakins that um, he's seeking your approval not only for the application, but... Uh, potentially the waiver of the fee and that's not something staff can do that's something it's exclusively commissioner responsibility okay thank you uh commissioner schneider i'd like to ask that we suspend the rules for discussion before a motion is made okay there's a motion by commissioner schneider seconded by commissioner coin to suspend the rules <coughs> 
Commissioner Schneider? Certainly. Um, I guess for clarification for ourself and um, for everybody here, could you could staff please explain the hundred dollar fee and is this an annual fee and what does it cover? Uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, fees for these kind of, of uh, uh, licenses to use our right of way are very common. Um, uh, people typically get them when some kind of an appurtenance or a structure that they have would be spilling over onto city property. So uh, uh, for people who are, f who certainly for property owners who m might not otherwise be familiar with this, one lane of any given roadway approximately in width uh, from the curb measured back into the yard uh, of the home uh, would be considered city right of way and we reserve that for uh, water lines, sewer lines, electrically utilities, telecommunication utilities, other kind of things. If people want to build some kind of structure on top of that, it requires, in effect, a, a permit and a license to do so. And for that portion of the ground uh, th where the structure sits, then, in effect, this licensing fee is the same as a mini lease. Uh, it's something that, as part of the annual budget process, the City Commission approves as part of their, their fee structure. And it's something then, once these kind of actions are taken, apply to uh, every, every lease granted, every permit approved. Anything further, Commissioner? OK, thank you. Commissioner Coyne. Um, in follow-up to that, <clears throat> um, it may be hard. I'm not sure anybody has enough institutional memory to know uh, the history of uh, the hundred dollar lease in residence like this. I am aware that where there are businesses and somebody wants to, for example, down on Washington Street where that path to the parking ramp is, that's leased. And there are other, when somebody wants to build a building on uh, where Argonics was, they had the lease land. But I'm not aware of, of putting the $100 a year fee on somebody who wants to put steps to replace them. To me, that seems onerous and silly. And I, before me, why I wanted discussion first was I wanted to hear the reaction of the city. Uh, is the world going to come to an end if we don't charge this gentleman $100 a year for putting steps there? Uh, to me, that doesn't make any sense. There are instances where it is important. But I don't think this is. So, what was your what would your be answer to that be? Thank you, sir. We we wouldn't challenge any of your logic. Only that you know we enforce the the fee associated with this kind of license. There are other uh, private residences that have been charged this fee that are paying this fee. And it's <coughs> typically for the areas like you've said where uh, the residence is closer to the street and that they're building something that would uh, ultimately create a structure that sits on a sidewalk or something else like that. Uh, I would only say, uh, as, I, as I've heard from other uh, commission discussion, um, w if you remove the fee for one, uh, from an equity standpoint, you'd have to reconsider it probably for every other one of these that we have standing out there. Or I would at least ask from an enforcement standpoint that uh, we have a very clear boundary that shows uh, why in certain cases the fee would be considered uh, uh, as necessary and why in other cases it wouldn't. But our role isn't to challenge why the commission would have these fees, it's to enforce them. You still have the floor, okay. Commissioner Coyne. To continue, not to be ridiculous, but you know, mm -hmm. there are people who have planted trees on the city right away. Are we charging them $100 a tree or $100, uh, does, is that an exception? No, actually in those cases we've asked them to remove the trees. No, not always. There's a couple of my neighbors have trees that they've planted, city trees, street trees that are on the right of way, and we're not charging them. So I guess there is leeway, and I think if, if we do excuse this $100 fee per year, that it would behoove us to try to ask you, the administration, to establish a clear policy as to what would account for exceptions. If somebody builds a building on the right of way, I don't have any problem with that. But putting a pair of steps to get to their deck, I have a problem. So I intend to make a motion to, uh, to excuse the $100 uh, fee yearly. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Cohen. Uh, Commissioner Kambanzi. Well, I just, I'd like to say I would support that motion simply because when you look at this particular parcel, you have a house that is built 
looks like it might be even over the property line slightly. Um, this isn't new construction. This is simply replacing what was there in a better fashion and something that's more safe. Um, I, I don't think we should be charging $100 fees per year on stuff like this. I just think, like Commissioner Coyne said, there are instances where someone needs a right of way, a lease, um, property to rent per year, per month. Um, you know, and this is someone's home, this is someone's personal property. So I guess I too would like to look at the lease. I will certainly support that motion. Thank you. Commissioner Schneider. Well, I think just in order of the way the statements were, I guess I will make the motion because you're bringing up my name. But um, make the motion that we approve the request and direct city attorney to draft the license um, and waive the $100 annual license payment. Okay, there's a motion by Commissioner Schneider, seconded by Commissioner Coyne to waive the city clerk. Could you read that back to us so that the motion maker and the seconder uh, yes, agrees sir. to that? That was uh, moved by Commissioner Schneider, supported by Commissioner Coyne, and carried, in, or not carried, <laughs> to approve a request for a permit to construct a deck and stairs in the city right of way and waive the $100 license fee. You agree with that, Commissioner Schneider? Commissioner Coin? With that motion, I'll ask all in favor. <coughs> Commissioner Schneider? Still comments. Okay. I'd like to, to follow up the motion with some comments and discussion on this. Um, I know we had a little bit of discussion, but I recognize that this puts staff and our future deliberations in, in a strange predicament because we are waiving a fee which means that we essentially have a policy that we're waiving a fee on. And so I want staff to know that even though I've made this motion, I'm hoping that staff can provide what the policy is and that we schedule another work session at some point to actually understand it and address it so that as a commission we, under we can decide what the policy should be because I don't think it's for staff necessarily to do. Um, it's just a recognition that we're setting an, um, a precedent counter to our policy so I'm hoping that that staff and the future Commission can deal with that thank you Commissioner Combanzi well, I think it would be fairly easy to say that if you're simply rebuilding or building in the same footprint that a house that's been there for I'm guessing 80 years then I don't think we should charge people I think this could be clearly a, a fairly logical uh, policy that we come up with whereas if you want to rent space for parking or you want to lease space for whatever um, you know that it isn't for a dwelling in this manner I think it could be fairly straightforward so I guess I feel like we don't need a work session I think um, I think staff can come back to us with some sort of recommendation like that thank you Commissioner Coyne yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we need a work session either. We can have the policy uh, reviewed and presented to us, and we can argue ad nauseum on that if we want to here. But I don't think it's going to be any, probably be simpler than what we're doing right now. Thank you. Commissioner Namey. <coughs> Thank you, Honor. Uh, I agree. I don't think we need a work session. Staff can bring us something. But, you know, we, we let the Coast Guard off with a, a dollar fee, and certainly they've got more resource than Mr. Deacons or any of us have. And so I don't know why we can't, uh, you know, waive the fee at assist and maybe charge him one dollar like we do the Coast Guard. I don't know. <laughs> Anything further, Commissioner? Nope, that's all. Thank <laughs> you. Any other Commissioner at this time before we vote on the no, motion? I think said Seeing no further discussion, I'll ask all in favor, say yes. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 to 0. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <coughs> With that, City Clerk, we'll move to number 8, Commission Priorities. Thank you, Your Honor. Background. The City Commission approved a strategic planning process as required by the City Charter. The implementation of the process is scheduled to begin during April of 2014. 
in order to capture the views of the current commission as well as to assist the startup of the strategic planning process the city commission polled members and conducted a series of work sessions to discuss city priorities at its october 2nd 2013 work session the city commission reviewed the list of 10 focused area focus areas and 41 discrete issues aggre aggregated from uh, earlier commission written comment the list was further amended during the work session which is attached <coughs> excuse me <coughs> individual members offered robust discussion and diversity of views it was noted that some issues represented mandatory requirements or intrinsic responsibilities while others are focused on focus more toward specific projects and activities it was further noted that irrespective of assigned priority all issues on the list need to be dis need to be dis or addressed excuse me commission member stated uh, a general view that the city may ma city has many game changing opportunities and associated priorities as a result of the discussion a majority of the commission members considered infrastructure economic development and relationship relationships as a priority focus areas including all associated discrete issues and similarly truck routes cliff Dow and Hartwood forest as priority discrete issues slash projects fiscal effect none by adopting the list the the document will be provided to the city commission in april 2014 for consideration during the strategic planning process the results of the strategic planning process will be incorporated within the annual budget deliberations recommendation adopt atta the attached strategic priorities alternatives as determined by the commission thank you city clerk commissioners what's your pleasure commissioner Cambancy. I move that we adopt the attached strategic priorities as presented. Thank you. Is there a second? Commissioner Schneider. Support. Commissioner Kambansi. I just want to make one note in that when we were going over this at our work session, really the priorities, um, you know, they're important for us, but they're also an important communication piece for our body that sits up here in the community. Um, I think it allows the community to see everything we have on our plate and certainly everything we're working on um, some more than others at times but certainly um, what we have going on so I just wanted to say that quickly thank you Commissioner Schneider I'm just gonna say that I really enjoyed the robust discussion uh, with commissioners regarding all of these topics I know that there wasn't there wasn't always agreement and it didn't always seem that the path forward was fairly was always clear but um, I appreciate the discussion I hope it gives the future Commission and staff uh, some good ideas on how to move forward to 2014 thank you Commissioner coin well in follow-up to that um, <coughs> again thanks for to all of you for working on this I think the key thing here is for people running for City Commission uh, this year next year whenever they know the issues that this commission sitting right here now feels are the things that are essential to work on priorities it also helps the people who get elected to know what we're thinking of it usually takes six months for a new commissioner to figure out what's going on what's important because all of these things are ongoing issues these aren't things that gee, we haven't done anything with this, 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 all of them we're working on and is very helpful to a new person coming in to know exactly what's going on. And you can ask, well, where are we with the roundhouse property? Where are we with uh, the Hartwood Forest, et cetera? So I think this is very good. It's not the strategic plan. This is not a strategic plan. It's the things that we're working on uh, now and we'll work on uh, starting in November. So I think it's a really good idea to have, and I would hope other commissions would do that every year to figure out where we're working on rather than just this big amorphous bunch of problems that no one knows what's more important than the other. So I think it's a good idea. Thank you, Commissioner Coyne. Any other commissioner at this time? Further discussion on this? Seeing none. There's a motion by Commissioner Kambanzi, seconded by Commissioner Schneider, to accept a recommendation of agenda number eight, adopt, attach strategic priorities. All in favor say yes. 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 Opposed? Motion passes seven to zero. Thank you. With that, we'll move to number nine. 
uh, 3H uh, truck traffic ordinance, city clerk. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> Background, with the completion of the Wright Street upgrade, McClellan Avenue and 7th Street extensions and the South Front Street roundabout, traffic patterns in the city of Marquette have undergone significant change. The city commission authorized a comprehensive traffic study to review the long-term impacts on city plans, zoning, and economic growth. In addition, the city of Marquette has been engaged in dialogue with surrounding jurisdictions and interests regarding regional needs and, <clears throat> and coordination. These efforts remain ongoing and requirements have been forwarded to the legislature of the state of Michigan which addresses which address short and long-term uh, needs. In the interim, the city <coughs> excuse me, the city must manage the impacts of traffic in a manner consistent with public safety and welfare of its taxpayers and residents uh, with it, uh, with existing financial constraints and operating needs and in accordance with the economic development plans mandated by the city charter. The proposed ordinance attached uh, addresses to the maximum extent possible routes which address this holistic need. Fiscal effect none by this action recommendations schedule a public hearing to be held during a special meeting on October 30th, 2013 to consider adopting the proposed ordinance establishing a regu and regulating <coughs> truck routes in the city. Alternatives as determined by the commission. Thank you, City Clerk. I got two gentlemen to, that want to address this. Um, 3H truck traffic. Whoever wants to come up, uh, I think there is a mat. Was there? They, they, they didn't reserve time. They just. They didn't. Okay. I thought maybe that's what you and them were doing. Okay. With that, uh, I'll turn it over to Commissioner Ryan. You're the one that made the motion to put this under new business. Thank you. Yeah, I, I was surprised to see this on our agenda. Um, I knew it was coming because we were told it was coming, but I was surprised that that this proposal was developed because of the fact that there was no specific or formal input from the commission. Considering that we typically have work sessions or special meetings on matters of much less consequence, I did not expect to see a proposal put forth on this issue without that kind of input. As a result, this was completely developed by the manager and staff. I'm also surprised by the timing. We agreed to spend a significant amount of money for a traffic study. I don't believe the study is complete, but if it is, the information has not been shared with the commission or community. Um, a lot more I could say, but I would like to, uh, I believe this issue should have been subject of a work session by this group with input from the commission and the public before it was brought forward. So I would like to move that we schedule a work session to do that. There's a motion by Commissioner Ryan to schedule a work session. Is there a second? Seeing none dies from a lack of uh, support. Any other commissioner wishing to? Commissioner Coyne. Well, I move we schedule a public hearing to be held during a special meeting on October 30th, 2013 to consider adopting the proposed ordinance and establishing and regulating truck traffic routes in the city. There's a motion by Commissioner Coyne. Is there a second? Commissioner Cambanzi? I'll support that. Thank you. Commissioner Coyne, anything further? No. Commissioner Cambanzi, anything further? The only thing I add is I don't see that there's that much of a difference between um, what Commissioner Ryan said, only because we're scheduling a public hearing. If we choose to adopt this ordinance, we have we could adopt it in two weeks, three months, um, four months, and I feel we do need something in place. I mean, this is something that didn't pop up a year ago, five years ago. I mean, this is something I believe the city of Marquette has been uh, kind of forgetting along the way. And I know that this, you know, trucks in our city do upset a lot of residents. I think that's why we have a lot of NMU students here. Um, so I think I think we need to move ahead with it and along the way collect the data from the community. So thank you. Commissioner Schneider. Just have to make a few comments on this. Um, a resident had mentioned that I had 
he wanted me to refrain from from discussing this or voting on this issue because I'm an employee of Eagle Mine, which I wanted to correct. One, I am not an employee um, of the mine, but they are a funder of the organization I work for. Um, so I will be recusing myself of any vote that, that impacts it. So if the special meeting is scheduled, I will not be partaking in the meeting discussion or the vote. Um, but for this evening, since it is just scheduling a public hearing, um, I will be in support of that. Thank you. City Attorney, that is correct, right? I agree with that analysis. Um, tonight's vote really is only to schedule a public hearing, schedule a special meeting um, to consider the ordinance. It's not a vote on the merits of the ordinance or anything that would pertain to whether it's approved or not. It's only scheduling of those um, public hearing and special meeting. Okay, thank you. Any other, commi Commissioner Ryan? Yeah, I, I, I still maintain there's a difference between scheduling a public hearing and a work session. Uh, for example, we did this with the uh, ethics ordinance, and we all agreed sitting at this table that it would make more sense to sit down together and discuss what differences we might have before bringing it forward for a public presentation. At, at a work session, we could have had input from the public as well as from commissioners. There are parts of this ordinance I very much don't agree with. Um, I'm not going to debate the whole issue now, but I can tell you, uh, once again, we're we're sabotaging our own efforts to work with our neighbors. I mean, they've made that clear to me in the conversations I've had that, uh, you know, the opportunity to work with the city of Marquette just doesn't make sense because we just take these actions without involving our neighbors and without, without really get, getting them involved. We send them a copy of what we're doing and say, this is it, folks. You know, this is it. This is the way it's going to be. So I, I think we've, I think through this, we're sending a terrible, we, we, we say we've set uh, um, economic development as one of our priorities. Well, this sends a pretty powerful anti-business message as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we're putting the truckers out of business through this ordinance. So uh, I'm, I'm disappointed this commission was not willing to sit down and talk further before taking it another step. But I'm sure we'll hear from people at the next meeting. Thank you. And Commissioner Nemi? Thank you, Honor. Um, I just uh, have one, one quick question from staff on, on the effective date being 30 days after publication. Is that intended, or our standard is 10 days after publication? Or, or is that just from the whatever ordinance this was kind of patterned after? Yeah, thank days? you, Honor. No, uh, that's fully subject to whatever the commission might choose. Uh, we're putting that in there uh, as part of the public process to, to gain feedback on what people's views are. But uh, maybe just to explain the process tonight simply is to schedule the public hearings um, to begin that discussion. Certainly, we've been in contact with all of our surrounding jurisdictions. We have meetings scheduled with them next week. We have meetings scheduled with private interests. We've started to collect feedback uh, via email and via telephone calls. Uh, uh, we're collecting up all the inf information, even like those suggestions that were made this evening in public comment. Uh, those are being vetted with city attorney in some cases. In other cases, uh, they're going on the list of things that people want to make sure are brought out for public consideration. Um, uh, it's our hope that on September 30th, uh, within the next 15 days, all interested parties will have had an opportunity to d digest the ordinance, ask questions about it, seek clarification maybe for their specific circumstances, and then hopefully be able to attend that meeting. Uh, e either in person or again through through the comments they might provide so that the Commission has a robust set of data to consider before they uh, consider any further adoption of the ordinance okay thank you um, any other commission I you know I guess as the C manager just delineated this is the start of the public process this is there's going to be plenty of chance for input uh, and uh, the ordinance is out there I don't think it's a complex ordinance uh, certainly isn't as complex as the ethics ordinance um, I'm certainly, it's probably much more controversial than the ex ethics ordinance, but it's the start of a process, so thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Nemi. Any other commissioner at this time? Commissioner Kimbanzi? Uh, just one more thing. We do have a, a roundtable discussion with all the um, local jurisdictions on Monday, so I'm sure those of us that are attending will hear 
about this. Um, we'll hear their thoughts too. So I guess in my eyes, I feel like we are moving forward as a city, but we're still operating with them for the long-term goal, which, you know, hopefully is to make truck traffic better for all of our jurisdictions. So I think Monday is a chance to, you know, sit down with our neighbors and actually have a discussion, so. Thank you. Any other commissioner at this time? Seeing none, there's a motion by Commissioner Coyne seconded by Commissioner Combanzi to schedule a public hearing to be held during a special meeting on October 30th, 2013 to consider adopting their proposed ordinance establishing and regulating truck traffic routes in the city. All in favor, say yes. 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 Opposed? No. Motion passes six to one. Show. Uh, Director, that is Commissioner Ryan uh, voting no. Thank you. And with that, we'll move to public comment. Comments should be limited to three minutes per person. Please state your name and physical address when making public comment. Uh, anyone wishing to address the commission at this time during public comment? <coughs> Ma'am, you can go up there. Thank you. My name is Melissa Zeglin. I'm a student at NMU. I'm also a mother of three children, and I live at 502 Wright Street. So all of this affects me, the trucking route. And my question is, how is concentrating truck driving down Wright Street from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. going to decrease the risk to our community and our children? Those are generally the hours where children are outside playing and North Star Academy is right on, right off of Wright Street there, coming around 41. So I guess that's something I would propose to the council is like, how is that? I mean, it decreases the noise at night. Yeah, I'll give you, grant you that. But it also concentrates large trucks driving down a street right next to a school and right next to apartment buildings where children are playing in parks during a seven to seven. I mean, that's gonna just, it's gonna decrease it's it's a risk. It's not incre it's not decreasing something. It's it's increasing a risk to children that need to be defended and taken into account in our community. So I would just ask you how you're going to address that. Thank you, ma'am. Anyone else wishing to address commission at this time? <clears throat> Good evening. You're Malankin and Eight Market Drive again. Um, it is a tough decision on the truck route, uh, but it's also discrimination. Uh, uh, you're discriminating against one particular industry. Uh, it'd be no different than saying you can't drive a Chevrolet at all or you can't drive a Ford at any given time. Uh, you are starting to uh, pick and choose uh, uh, who operates and who doesn't operate in the city and market and what time and, and when and how is that going to affect the uh, funding for the uh, roads and highways and streets and federal funding when you start discriminating uh, uh, to a certain uh, industry in our community and uh, I'm just saying be very careful when you start discriminating at one segment of our industry in our community thank you thank you sir anyone else wishing to address commission at this time anyone else wishing to address commission at this time seeing none I'll close this portion of public comment and turn it over to my fellow commissioners for their comments. Uh, Commissioner Kambanzi. I have nothing further, thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Schneider. Sure. Um, in the past week, I've been invited to speak at um, both one of our local rotary organizations and to a group of seniors at North Star Academy. And both topics really were as an outgoing commissioner, what do you think are some of the, the bigger issues of the um, of the city now that you know you can speak your mind? No, I'm not getting into them here, um, but it, it made me think a lot, um, really, about where we're at and where we're going, and how much interest there is from people that we may not think likely to be interested in local politics. And so I wanted to let the public know, everybody sitting here, everybody who's at home, that I've put together a candidate forum, um, very informal, at the Ordock Brewing Company tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. 
Um, it's open to anybody. The, the candidates running for city commission who will be up for election in uh, November, there's four candidates for two seats, will all be there to give an introduction to who they are and be able to take questions from the audience. Uh, so anybody who's out there who's interested and has the evening free, I really recommend that, that they come by and take, um, take the opportunity to get to know the people who are running for, uh, for Mayor DiPietro's seat and my own. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you, Commissioner Schneider. Commissioner Nemi. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I, you know, Commissioner Snyder may be outgoing, but uh, he'll, he'll certainly be missed. And I, I, I applaud you for setting up the, the forum for candidates to, to address the issues. And actually, it's anyone over 18 years because it's at the Ordock Brewing mm -hmm. Company. <laughs> but uh, it, it's true. There's there's a lot of big issues there coming down the truck route. One of them, and and there's you know the we had an opportunity, uh, <coughs> the mayor and I, to attend the UP Energy Forum this last week, and. And uh, in the near future, in the ver well, next week, we have a work session with the Board of Light and Power. But electrical energy is going to be a big issue in this community in, in, the, in the future. Uh, with the Prescott Power Plant, uh, uh, the future of the Board of Light and Power, what, you know, what their plans are, and, and the, the rate increase, which we'll be looking at in, in uh, the end of October. And so there's going to be a lot of uh, things in the, in, in the future, and, and uh, we'll, we won't have the counsel of Mr. Petro or Mr. Schneider to, to assist us with that, but I expect that we'll have uh, able counsel coming on uh, with the new, what, whatever new members come here. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Nemi. Commissioner Stonehouse. Thank you, Mayor. Um, just a, a couple of, uh, of quick points, if I can. Um, I think the, the comment made earlier about the idea of having lower threshold bins at the PW uh, household uh, waste yard makes an awful lot of sense. The ones that are there, frankly, are high. They're difficult to get your material into, and that's a quick fix that we ought to be able to take care of quickly, and I, I certainly thank Mr. Potfin for pointing that out. Uh, we're going to have certainly a, a visceral issue in the community with the, the whole issue of the truck route. I would urge folks to read the ordinance and understand it, and especially to understand what it actually says, because there's going to be an awful lot of people out there that will be quite willing to tell you what it says, and they will not necessarily be correct. So please, read it for yourself, get to your own understanding of it, and don't let somebody else kind of lead you around the nose with what it says. So again, with any good public issue, we should be doing that. And, and this one, I think, will take a little more work on, on the part of everybody. Uh, nothing further. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Commissioner Stonehouse. Commissioner Ryan. Despite Commissioner Stonehouse's comments, I'm going to tell you something about the new truck route. <laughs> and you can choose to believe it or not. But it does, in fact, shut down or remove what has been a long-established truck hauling route from our system in Marquette. I'm talking about the area of Wright Street uh, east of McClellan Avenue. I'm talking about North Lakeshore, North, North Lakeshore Boulevard. I'm talking about Holly Street. Um, I, I know a lot of people don't like trucks, but you know, we live in a community where we have to work with our neighbors. You know, for us to shut off all of logging north of Marquette, you know, it doesn't make sense to me. For us to throw roadblocks in the path of what will be a new operating mine, which will employ, which currently employs about 500 people in our communities, doesn't make sense to me. Um, I, I just think this is a terrible starting point, and uh, I'll have more to say when we actually debate it later. But that's why I'm, I wish this commission had taken some time to d discuss some of these issues in a work session. It's better to take something fairly polish to the final stage than, than something that's going to be like making sausage that night. So thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Ryan. Commissioner Coyne. Thank you. Um, I'd like to ask Commissioner um, Jason, could you tell us the time again and where? Sure. The, um, candidate forum? the event is open at 6 and the forum discussions will start at 7. When? What day? Wednesday, tomorrow, tomorrow. evening. Okay, thanks. Um, <coughs> I would hope that uh, Mrs. December, who was here, uh, we could get you in touch with the city manager to try to uh, resolve your dilemma. Um, and I think that he will, I'm sure, be responsive to you. Um, and he might even have a comment after I'm, we're done. Um, I want to thank the student government 
and they're uh, supporting people to coming tonight. Um, the, she, the chairperson, uh, mentioned that she represents 9,000 people at Northern uh, students, and uh, I think that's a consideration uh, of the, this commission to take good care of uh, the student body. Uh, they are residents of the city of Marquette for the most part, and uh, they are profoundly affected by uh, the truck route ordinance. Um, I think uh, a comment, and I'd also like to thank the other people who made comments. Uh, I think it's a legitimate thing that we should consider about the seven to seven time. Uh, you and Mr. Carey made comments, and I think that's something that we need to discuss, and I think we will. Um, <coughs> and then that can be done at the public hearing, and the motions would be made if, if there is a motion to approve uh, the ordinance that we can change the wording and change a lot of things on it so it's not like this is the way it is and that's it so it's appropriate for people to come and speak and try to make points and I think you did a very good job tonight thank you um, also uh, I must disagree as I often do with Yorma um, about discriminatory uh, ordinance it is not discriminatory we've been down this road once before with Division Street uh, with trucks driving down a residential area and they took to court uh, that we were discriminating against one company and they lost we were this ordinance is not written to discriminate against any particular person the ordinance is written for the protection of the citizens who we represent and if you can point out to me one word in there that's discriminatory I welcome you to come after the meeting and show it to me okay because it's not discriminatory and that's inflammatory uh, in terms of the positive public comment that we would hope to have in the discussion of the ordinance so thank you thank you thank you Commissioner Coyne and with that, I'd like to uh, congratulate the Market uh, City Fire Department for organizing the 21st Annual Fire Prevention Kickoff Parade that was held last Saturday. Well attended, even though it was drizzly. Then it started raining, but uh, there was uh, various fire departments throughout Market County with their equipment, uh, uh, meet and greet with the uh, grandparents, parents, and the children and showing them all of their equipment. So it was very awesome. They had uh, drawings of brand new bicycles for the kids in attendance and, and cake and ice cream and all that. So again, thank you to all the um, firefighters that participated <coughs> in this uh, fire prevention kickoff parade. And I'd also like to thank uh, Market Downtown Development Director Mona Lang in um, setting up this uh, uh, Harvest Festival this past Saturday and there was a huge crowd it was you know uh, I guess the drizzle the weather doesn't really affect people that much when they want to come down and see these great events so uh, everybody was having a good time i think the biggest draw for the kids was the oversized big wheels petting zoo and also the big trucks at uh, market board light and power and their employees had showed up with market city fire department had their trucks and market county road commission had um, uh, their street plows and dump trucks down there so there was uh, a lot of good music food in Upper Peninsula's Children Museum in the Market Regional Hist History uh, Center was also uh, participating with this event. So anyways, uh, to me, I thought it was a very, very great uh, event, and they're looking at 2014 uh, around the same time uh, next year to also have this again. And also, not just myself but my fellow commissioners have been asked by many people by many motorists and visitors what are those small black boxes in the middle of the road and and before we always had those rubber cables going across for uh, traffic uh, counts of vehicles and that but this is a 21st century we had the uh, 
we had a contractor come in and do uh, a, 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 a traffic safety study and they put these little boxes in the middle you can drive over them you don't have to swerve around them or anything they're very sturdy so anyways that's one of the things we have them in uh, designated areas to get uh, what kind of heavy traffic flow that we have in certain areas so anyways i'm sure that uh, with that i'm going to turn this over to our city manager if he has anything further on that uh vehicle uh counters or, uh, or any uh, other thing that you have on your radar uh you have the floor thank you thank you your honor uh only i wanted to to thank again the um uh, Marquette Fire Department for the great job that they did in all of the surrounding volunteer fire departments from the area communities uh, that showed up on Saturday. Uh, we had a, a wonderful fire safety, fire awareness presentation. It was very well attended by lots of area children and uh, had a great bike raffle. And so I appreciate the people who helped with that sponsorship and helped make that happen. Uh, again, uh, we have, uh, to Commissioner Nemi's earlier comments, an awful lot on our plate these days. Uh, we get questions all the time about what's happening with the hospital, uh, now what's happening with Presque Isle Power Plant, what's happening with the Marquette Board of Light and Power, what's happening with the road issues, what's happening with economic development, who's going to be the next mayor, uh, all kinds of things. Uh, it's a very, very busy uh, period over the course of the next four weeks. And uh, as part of that, there's an awful lot of information that we're going to be looking to share with the community. Uh, tonight, the truck ordinance is a good example of how we'd like to start that. And uh, in order to keep everybody on the same sheet of paper, uh, I'll make the offer on any one of those issues that we've made in the past. Uh, in addition to whatever communication that you're seeing, uh, if you're interested in coming in and spending time with myself, any members of my staff, uh, any members of the city commission maybe to have more direct communications if you have concerns we're going to make ourselves absolutely available to the maximum extent possible uh, uh, really in my case that's pretty much time unlimited uh, and so I would encourage people to take advantage of that uh, we are capturing all of the comments and it, it would be my intention along with passing that information out uh, to, to so that people have confidence in the institution uh, of how we manage this that all comments are fair up to the point where uh, final consideration is being offered and so anything that you have to share in whatever format we will try to do our best to capture it and we will keep track of that and hopefully be able to to have a discussion about that later so uh, on any one of these issues if you have if you have thoughts on rate increases or traffic routes or uh, if you have ideas on where you'd like to see the hospital located or if you'd like to participate in any kind of the economic development activities that are going on, please do not hesitate to contact the, the city manager, the front office directly, uh, and we'll make sure that we are very responsive. Uh, to um, uh, Mrs. December, uh, be glad to have a chat afterwards. I know we've already been working on this somewhat, and I'll make sure we follow up uh, per the discussion this evening. Uh, we will be following up as well w with the DPW on the lower profile reclamation bins. Uh, and we'll also be following up uh, with, of course, the superior hockey item that was deferred to make sure that, that hopefully the federal government will come off furlough and make some decisions and we'll be able to reconsider that at a future future commission meeting. And with that, Your Honor, I'm, I've got nothing further to add. Thank you, City Manager Peel Fida. And one last thing. Uh, I, again, I want to thank the president of ASNMU for having all these students here today. I, I, I'm sure that you, you, none of you were bored with this meeting, and it's only going to get better next meeting. So if you're not doing nothing, uh, come on back and uh, sit down and enjoy our conversation dialogues and, uh, and uh, everything else that goes with that. And with that, we're adjourned.